Hey, Seth, I want to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice Badge for Batter Pro Bowl with this listing. I know how competitive the category can be, so to see that's really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module, which you're not utilizing. It takes up very valuable real estate with this listing, in addition to a few other things I noticed. My name is Sean, and I'm an account manager with my Amazon guy. So listen, I'm going to pack this full of valuable information. It's designed to help grow sales for you. I'll get to the module in just a second, but the first thing I want to talk about are your keywords. Now, we utilize this tool to look at your sponsored and organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things with it, but I'm noticing that your keywords are low. So you've got 285 sponsored, only 943 organic keywords. Um, now, we recommend a one to two ratio. So for every one sponsored, you have two organic here. But let's look of the keywords that you have, how you're performing, how you're indexing. So you'll notice that I sorted these by the most frequently searched keywords. And if there's a hyphen, it means that these are very relevant, you know, uh, words for you, like deep fryer completely makes sense that you would index there, but you're not. Um, pancake batter dispenser. Eh, I don't know about that. I'm mixing bowls with lid set for sure. Bowl, I see that you're on bowl. That's a tough one. So well done on that. Um, collapsible dog bowl. Fish bowl, I don't know if that's really necessary. Um, meat church, mixing bowl set. Interesting. Do you notice your, your organics are in the double, for the most part, triple digits. Here's one that's okay, um, but you're not indexing or you're in the triple digits and that makes a tremendous impact on where you uh, rank within, in terms of revenue. How much revenue are you gonna get out of this? So let's put this into context, fish fryer. So you're organically ranked 208 and this is very relevant for you because people need to batter their fish before they fry it. So um, 5,844 people are looking for fish fryer on Amazon. So of course you're gonna have all of these sponsored ads before yours and then all of the 207 organic ads that show up before you. So I just wanna get an idea of how much revenue is gonna be brought in by the words fish fryer. <laughs> That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So um, you can ask yourself this question, is the organic rank of 208 sufficient enough for you to get enough of this revenue? And the answer should be no, right? We definitely want to improve your organics. And this is just one example. I can show you dozens like this. Now let's talk about competition. So I know you know this listing. I took these words from your title, found this listing here. It's a direct competitor. And I'm not doing any product comparisons. However, I will tell you that they're an first image is very compelling. And you know right away that this helps with breading whatever they're wanting to fry. And I think having a compelling image like that for your first image would make a difference. But let's talk about their advertising. Look at this. They are only using 66 sponsored keywords, but they've got 2,300 organic keywords. And because of this, they've sold over 1,700 of those units um, and you're under 400. So their exposure is giving them far greater sales. Um, and, and you know what, let me look and see something real quick. Yeah. They're actually spending less money than you on advertising too, as well. So that's really compelling. They're spending less. They've got more organic keywords and they're selling more. So um, something to think about, but last thing with regards to organics. So at my Amazon guy, we break up SEO into three phases here. And in phase three, we look at those organic keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50. And right now you've got 118 of that them. And because of that, you're really not benefiting from that organic traffic. So our focus would be to lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 24 for breading trays, we have you in the top 10, right? And if you're not having to sponsor these words anymore, it makes a big impact on lowering your ACOS. <clears throat> Now, let's talk about the fun stuff. So coming over to your listing, I'm going to move out of the way. And yes, I do recommend an updated primary image. Um, me looking at this looks like a bowl with a lid, right? And <clears throat> unless I read the title, I wouldn't really know for certain. Um, and your images, though, going through... 
this is a good image. I wish she was looking directly at the camera. That would be really compelling. This is a great image. I don't know if you really need, you've got two of these. They're exactly the same. Um, this is this is a good image too. I would A-B test your images, just double check and make sure. And we do that here. Uh, your title looks a little short. You can have up to 200 characters there. Yeah, you've only got 154. This is the first spot that Amazon looks for your organic keywords. And then they come down to about this item section and you've got very limited content here. This is why your organics are so low. Each bullet should have 250 characters. And you wanna make sure that you're integrating these relevant words into your title, into your bullet points so that they drive more traffic. 250 characters here. Now, if you do anything today, let me show you that module. Um, go ahead and set this up. So log into Seller Central and just above product description, you'll see a brand story. So um, you've got your product description here. It would go right above this and it fills up the entire screen. And this is where you can talk about how you got your start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. You can even include a hyperlink to your brand store. Um, this is good information here. Um, just adding to it would drive more organic traffic. And I do recommend full A plus content down in your product description too as well, um, because that does indexing. You can put 500 to 1000 words of crawlable text there. So listen, here at My Amazon Guy, we are a 300 person agency and we manage over 250 brands, giving our clients peace of mind, knowing that Amazon is handled so that they can focus on their business. Uh, we love working with inventors and it looks like your product is similar to another client of ours, not a batter, but it is a an inventor who came up with the Chirp Wheel. This client of ours has been with us from the beginning and started at zero. They've grown these number of reviews in two and a half years, and they do well over a million dollars a month on Amazon. That's just one example, but someone I thought of when looking at your product, because I think it's very, very interesting and unique. Um, but go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks so much for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.